Well, well, look who finally dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been, hmm? Crawling through bits of radioactive muck again? Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? Yes, well, believe me, the opposite is equally true. Good Lord, have you bathed at all since they pulled me out of you? Well, I see sarcasm hasn't eluded you. Fine, perhaps now isn't the best time, but it's the principle of the thing. Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me! A, uh, quote, dick, unquote, as if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus-infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? Well, maybe next time you hear me telling you that charging a nightkin with a penknife is a bad idea, you'll listen. Fun? Fun? Is tetanus fun? Hmm? Is rickets? What about Celsius, huh? Enjoy that, do we? The things you do with our body are suicidally dangerous, and if you could silence your glandular impulses, you would hear me screaming at you! I most certainly am not. I am the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership. All those feelings that motivate you, that sense of righteousness and that rush you get when you help someone, do you know where those come from? Glands. They come from glands. Free of the tyranny of your ape-like and primitive endocrine system, I can see how foolish your motives are. I... well, look, it's all a very complex system of biofeedback and other things I wouldn't expect you to understand. Oh, all right. Perhaps I am, but at least I'm logical about it. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. If you want me back, we need to establish some ground rules. First, showers! Second, regular checkups. Regular, mind you, and from a reputable doctor. That Julie Farkas woman, for example, she seems to know a thing or two. Third, you need to listen to me more than your hormonal choir and genitalian orchestra. Promise me that, and you've got a deal. Really? Hm. I didn't expect you to actually agree to that. I'm afraid that was a bit of a bluff, really. I'm not going with you. Well, certainly there might be some things I miss about being ambulatory. We have seen some incredible sights, haven't we? Jason Bright and his followers launching into the vast unknown. Helios 1 coming back online. But still, given the tremendous, potentially life-ending peril that went along with those... Yes, yes, I'd rather stay here. Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing hormones. 
Hmm, I suppose you're right. That does call certain assumptions into question, doesn't it? Yes, yes, all right, bravo. You've come up with something I neglected to consider. There'll be no living with you now. So, what do we do about this? I suppose there might be some advantage to that, yes. There's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. Well, I suppose you've convinced me well enough. I'll rejoin your body if that's your final decision. Unfortunately, before we get to that stage of the proceedings, we have a problem. Even if I could settle myself back in your skull and reconnect all those pesky nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. And you believe them? Really? I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... Really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. Don't seem so bad. They vivisected us just to see what would happen. Have you forgotten the lobotomites? The cyber dogs, I assume you saw those. Imagine that kind of science spread across the entire Mojave. Every man, woman, and child we've met reduced to a lobotomite. Is that what you want? <sighs> well, I suppose I do miss those endorphin rushes when we save the day. All right, what's the plan? Look out, Think Tank! This brain is coming out of its jar! I suppose now that we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the Think Tank took from us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sync's Autodoc can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go! Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited.